Hi, Andy Lund here for Taylor Guitars, hanging out in Chicago with the good folks at GearWire again. And we're going to do a quick little demonstration today on the Taylor five Taylor body shapes. Um, the first one that we're going to talk about is the Grand Auditorium. And the Grand Auditorium is an original Taylor shape uh, designed in 1994. And the Grand Auditorium is probably what we're known for. Uh, it's, it's the Swiss Army knife, so to speak, of our line. It does a lot of things really well. Uh, if you're somebody who goes between uh, a little bit of strumming, some flat picking, finger picking. Um, if you play lots of styles, this is a guitar that will work in many applications. Um, it's got a little bit narrower waist from left to right, which makes it a very comfortable guitar to play. And pretty much it has defined the, the sound of a modern acoustic guitar. I'll play a little bit here uh, for you. So that's the Grand Auditorium, and if you're looking at our line, anything that starts with GA or ends with the number 4 is a Grand Auditorium body shape. The second shape in our lineup is the GS. The GS, when you look at this guitar compared to the last one I just talked about, it's almost the same shape. It looks pretty darn similar. The only difference is that it's a little bit wider from the bottom bout. Uh, the, actually, the overall geometry, the overall shape of the, of the guitar is just a little bit bigger. So a GS is a guitar because of that shape that lends itself to uh, somebody who hits really hard. If you're somebody who likes to hit your guitar, bang on it, this is a guitar that'll stay with you. Um, all guitars sort of reach a point where they compress. All acoustic guitars sort of reach a point where they compress. In other words, you, you strum it, you hit it, it gets louder, and then it reaches a point where it really doesn't get any louder with the more energy that you attack it with. But a GS is a guitar that it's kind of like having another gear in a good car, right? You're, you're cruising along, all of a sudden you want a little bit more juice, <clears throat> you can hit it. This is a guitar that'll do that for you as well, where it'll stay with you and, and it'll, it'll, the more you hit it, it'll really stay with you. And uh, so the GS comes in, in four different combinations. You can get a rosewood back and sides GS, you can get a maple back and sides, and the one I'm playing is mahogany and cedar. Play a little bit for you. Anything that starts with GS or ends with the number six is a GS body shape in the Taylor lineup. This is a grand concert. Anything that starts with GC or ends with the number two is a grand concert shape in the Taylor lineup. This is the smallest body we make, uh, which makes it ideal for finger style guitar playing. If you're, if you're looking for a guitar that um, maybe doesn't take up so much sonic space, if, it is, if you think about just how uh, a guitar would, would needs to sound in a, in, a, in a song with just voice, perhaps. Maybe you don't want the guitar to be real big and feel big and boomy. It's also a guitar that is a little bit different by design than some of our other instruments because it's short scale, which means the distance between the nut and the saddle is about a half inch shorter than all the other models, all the other shapes that we make, which uh, lends itself to being a, a really comfortable guitar to play. And also, it changes the string tension a little bit because, uh, because of the short scale, the strings aren't quite as stiff. So it makes a really nice uh, little finger picking guitar, real intimate kind of sounding guitar. It's a grand concert. This is a jumbo, and this is the biggest body shape that Taylor makes. Anything that ends with the number five or starts with JU stands for jumbo. So this happens to be a, a, a 615 CE, which is a beautiful piece of maple on the back and sides. A jumbo is a, is a guitar that um, is also a good guitar for somebody who likes to hit hard. If you're somebody who has a strong strumming hand and you want a guitar that you can hit and it'll stay with you, um, a jumbo is a, will deliver that kind of sound. 
Also, it's just a, it's a guitar that if you're used to playing a big guitar, um, it, it'll fit your body real well. We like jumbos a lot for 12-string guitars, and I don't happen to have one here today, but we, we do really well. Uh, our tailored design, the jumbo shape, lends itself really well to 12-string. Um, if you're, one thing that, that's interesting to think about with a jumbo guitar, if you, if you look at this, the shape of this guitar, it's, it's the biggest one we have, right? So there's a lot of real estate on the top of this guitar. And if you're somebody who's a light strummer, this might not be the best fit for you because it takes more energy to excite this guitar. Uh, so if you're somebody who strums really lightly, maybe use a real thin pick, you're probably not going to get as much volume out of this guitar, even though it's bigger than some of our other models. But that's why we really like it for 12 strings, because the addition of the, of the extra six strings um, puts more tension on the bridge and allows you to get away with um, a lighter feel and then thus having a really big sound. So this is, this is the jumbo. last of the five shapes is the dreadnought. And the dreadnought is a traditional shape guitar that, um, you know, when you think about an acoustic guitar, this is kind of the shape that you might, you might imagine in your, in your head. It's been around a long time. And the dreadnought is known for uh, a real powerful sounding guitar. Uh, it has lots of overtones. Uh, if you're somebody who's into flat picking or just lots of strumming, uh, if you like to strum big, big old chords, a dreadnought is a guitar that's going to take up uh, more sonic space and fill up a room, so to speak. Um, in our lineup, anything that starts with the letters DN or ends with a zero is a dreadnought-shaped guitar. This one happens to be a DNK, uh, which has got a beautiful piece of Hawaiian koa on the back and sides. And uh, like I said, a, dr a dreadnought is kind of a familiar sound uh, in a familiar shape. Those are the five shapes. That's a quick little run through of the five shapes that Taylor makes. You've got the Grand Auditorium, which is the Swiss Army knife, again, so to speak. Um, does a lot of things really well. Uh, if you're searching for the guitar that's going to do many things, probably Grand Auditorium is a good spot for you to start. You've got the Grand Symphony, which is our big, bold sounding guitar. And that's the, probably the loudest guitar we make. If you're somebody who hits really hard, uh, that would be a good spot, good, good spot to check out, a good instrument for you to look at. The third one is the Grand Concert, which is the smallest, uh, most intimate sounding guitar we make. Um, very nice for finger style guitar. And then we have the, both the Jumbo and the Dreadnought, which are kind of more traditional sounds, uh, shapes that we've, we've heard for years. Lots of classic recordings have been made with Jumbos and Dreadnoughts over the years. So again, I'm Mandy Lund for Taylor Guitars, and, and thanks. We'll see you soon.